Dr. Quinn, have you seen any cases of child abuse in your clinic? I have unfortunately seen too many cases over the last 19 years of being a physician here in Mississippi. But I'm going to tell you, one case is too many. Most of the victims that have come in, these children, they normally don't come with the abuser. They'll come with the grandmother or someone other than the abuser. But as a family physician, we're trained to look for specific findings in the history and or the physical. And when we have a high enough index of suspicion, we don't hesitate. We contact the authorities. And there have been cases where some abusers, parents, have been arrested. But we don't have any regrets to that. Because at the end of the day, those children get out of that un safe environment to a safe environment that they deserve. Right. And now in the definition of the Federal Child Abuse Act, the failure to act in certain situations is a form of child abuse. What does that mean? Well, well basically what it means, and I consulted with a couple of my attorney friends, and, and basically what was quoted was if a child is under the care of someone, be it a parent, a teacher, a Sunday school, if that child is under that care of that adult and that adult knows that some inappropriate behavior is going on physically or mentally and does not report. And I'm talking about scenarios where maybe a mother has a boyfriend that spends a night some evenings or a, a teacher that knows something is going on in the school. If the parent or the person that's responsible for that child does not report, they could be held liable in a court of law. So I'm so happy I have this opportunity to just put that information out there. If you know something is going on with a child, report because you can be held liable in a court of law according to my attorney friends that I consulted with. And beyond reporting, is there anything else we can do to help these children in these situations? Most definitely. I mean, the most important thing is be aware. Pay attention to your kids. Let's hypothetically say your child is performing poorly in school, becoming withdrawn, not wanting to hang out with their friends, maybe having crying spells, just acting differently. Sit down, engage, talk to them, ask them what's going on. Because abuse, it happens in a lot of different scenarios. It doesn't necessarily always have to happen in the home. Sometimes it can be happening outside of the home, but if you can't come up with a solution, get professional help for your child with counseling. Because as I said, we medical professionals are trained to look for those cues and get those children to a safe environment that they deserve. Thank you so much for bringing awareness to this issue. And thank you for letting us know all the things that we can do to make the situation better for children in our areas as well. We appreciate you.